Hey everybody, how you going? Steve here, Command Center Wargaming. What fabulous day it is today. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. All right, fantastic. So look, we have arrived at the uh, Vigilus weekend and uh, everything is here, everything has come in. Um, I've gone through, I've you know done my wallet offloading at, uh, at Games Workshop, which is really cool. And uh, so I'm just gonna go through that and uh, show you some stuff uh, inside what, that I have here today. And uh, we're going to go through it. This will be the Monarius Kalgar and the um, Harkin World Claimer unboxing. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll talk a little bit about some paints for my Crimson Fists as well, uh, very quickly. I'll do that at the end of the video, just so that people who've come here for the you know the the unboxing uh, they don't uh, you know get upset because there's like you know wasted time or whatever. And um, and but I'm going to be doing the chapter approved and the Vigilus in another video. So. Yeah, so here's my little bag. All right, my little goodie bag. So I got these from Good Games in Sydney, which is pretty cool. 10% off, 10% um, off, uh, you know, Warhammer or across the board and Games Workshop stuff. So it's really good. Um, I usually I usually buy from the Games Workshop store, um, which is just downstairs. Like I really like the staff there and everything. Um, but um, I don't know. It's kind of like you know. Uh, 50%, you know, like 10% off. I think I bought all this and I saved like 50 bucks. So I'm kind of just like, yeah, I get the whole brand loyalty thing. Um, but at the same time, it's like, well, you know, $50 in my pocket is a prize I can give out to you guys, you know? And, uh, you know, uh, you know, Games Workshop, you know, you know, can friggin' send us some stuff or sponsors. I'll start worrying about it. Um, but aside from until that happens, it's basically just like, yeah, business is business, you know. If I can get it $50 cheaper somewhere else um, and buy some extra paints, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, all right, cool. So let me just move this out of shot for a second. All right. And, um, and yeah, so here's the, um, here's the Harkin. All right, here's Mr. Harkin World Claimer. Now, disregard the prices, guys. These will be in AUD, so... For any of these you know, of those who are watching it and you're like, oh my god, you know, like what's this? It's just yeah. I'm not gonna start crying about all that crap again and you know, that's not what this video is about, you know. Oh, you know, Australian prices, this and that. It's like guys, look, you know it's expensive, you know it's a ripoff, you're paying you're paying like, you know, fifty dollars for like a five cent plastic dude. Okay, it probably cost them all of like, you know, sixty cents to make, including the packaging. When it, you know, in terms of mass production, so um, you know, anyway, so yes, yeah, so this Harkins here, so we'll open him today on the channel on the, in this video, and uh, he's really cool. All right, he's he's looking very very sharpy and pointy there, which is awesome. Okay, and you know your usual sort of like painting guide there. All right, so uh, and then you got Monaris or Monarius or you know Marius or however you say it, uh, Marius. Okay. And um, and he's got his honor guard there as well, okay, which is which is really cool, really fantastic, and uh, it comes with two of them, all right. So it's it's really cool, and um, and basically yeah, like uh, the back of the box just shows you the front, you know, the back and the um, and the, the the two honor guard and all kind of stuff. I must admit, I, I was expecting the box to be a little bit bigger. Uh, for him, but um, you know, it's not a big deal. I think that Games Workshop have just become uh, a lot more uh, articulate with their with their packaging processes and stuff like that. I'm just hoping that the model isn't too small, you know, because I'm just hoping that the model is 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 a big model and not like small model. Um, here it is. Here's the box compared to the the former edition of of um, of. Uh, of Marnius, okay. So, and I, I got to admit, I was expecting something more along that size kind of thing. Um, but um, you know, whatever, you know, it's as long as the models are in there, and as long as they, as long as the models are good, you know, then who cares, right? So, you know, it, it's it's totally all good in the wood, right? And uh, yeah, so so that's that one, all right. And we'll go we'll go through those in a bit, okay. Um, the next one, okay, we got the chapter approved. Right, so finally, finally got my copy of that. Okay, my my version of that, which is which is really awesome. 
Okay, so we'll go. We'll be going through that later on on the channel. Okay, so um, not in this video. Right, I'm not going to bother framing it here, guys, because, like I said, it's it's not a video for that. But it's it's just right here. All right, and um, and that'll be covered. Uh, I'll probably, hopefully, I'll do that. Maybe, I think maybe I'll maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I might actually do it tomorrow. Um, because, uh, yeah, I really want to give that a good run. Same with this one. So it's a Vigilist Defiant book. We're going to be going through that as well. And um, again, we're gonna. I'm going to be going through that. Uh, maybe I think this one I'll go through today. I'll do that video today and then the, the uh, Vigilist tomorrow. Uh, see how we go. And then we've got the prize draw tomorrow as well. Right? So like I'll probably do that in the morning. But it doesn't really matter. Um, because, you know, it's not live. Like, you know, who cares? So... Um, you know, before, you know, it was like, oh, 11 o'clock because we were streaming and stuff. But now it's just like, yeah, whatever. So, um, so anyway, okay, cool. So, and it's just some paints I picked up. So I've, I've decided to, um, to do my first Imperial Fist box, uh, Crimson Fists. And, uh, I'm, I'm going to be making like another video for this, uh, as well. And these are just some of the paints. Like some of the old paints I already had. Uh, but I, I'm quite scientific when it comes to my paints uh, and, you know, sort of like what to do in that respect. And uh, so I just got a few of them here, which are, which, which I sort of go through and all that kind of stuff, um, you know, at a, at a later stage. Uh, you know, I was, I was thinking, I was thinking maybe I'll do in this video, but you know what? I, I think, I think that this is, this will be it's for its own separate video, actually. I'll have a have a talk about that and uh look i'm probably not going to run a tutorial for these guys on the channel because um i'm not going to be doing them up super crazy um you know and yeah i just want to get them done because the way it is guys i'm just making so many videos and I'm, I'm just not getting time to paint anything and if i literally like film a tutorial on every single thing that i paint i'll literally get nothing done and i, I want to actually have some games you know, over the holidays and, you know, have a painted army and that and, and all that kind of stuff. So, um, anyway, but look, yeah, you know what? I'll, um, I'll make another video. I, I might make it directly after video. I'll have a, I have a talk about it after this and, um, and I'll have a look at, you know, sort of like where I'm heading with the Crimson Fist attachment. And it's just, it's just basically looking to be a, you know, a, a reinforcement army, um, you know, and like, as I said, I'll go through, I'll, I'll do a decent job on it, but I'll just do like stage one, one highlighting, you know, not like three, four layers of edge highlighting and I'll still have my layering up in there and everything. And, but I think that'll be enough, you know, and, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll just do a, I'll do a army showcase after. Yeah. So I'll just, and I'll just talk about like, sort of like what I, what I decided to do for it and that keep it keep it as like an army showcase and I think that'll work uh, uh, aside you know because otherwise I'm just gonna have to go through and it's just gonna be nuts so yeah yeah we, we, we've got so many videos we have to make guys so it's uh, it's crazy so yeah a lot of a lot of Vallejo paints there um, a lot of Vallejo paints there bit of army painter bit of quick shading uh, army painter bit of a mix of the the Reichland and like I said I'm I'm a little bit of a mixer I like to mix my brands uh, I haven't really used any, I'm not thinking about using any MIG for this one. I was going to use the undercoat, like, because MIG is, is my primary undercoating paint. But um, then I decided, well, I'm just going to undercoat it in the blue anyway, because it's dark anyway, and all this kind of stuff. Anyway, look, let's get on with the video at hand, and um, and uh, I'll, I'll put that up in another video. Right? I just I just get very excited, everybody, like, um, you know, so, as, as we do. All right, so let's go through, and, and let's, let's have a look at... Uh, at uh, Marnius first, right? So I'm just gonna open him up here. Hopefully, just open him up pretty easily on the on the camera. All right, so all right, there we go. Plastics off. All right, just open him. Let's butcher the box a little bit. I like to keep my boxes intact the best I can um, because you know I like to use them as painting reference sometimes. All right, and there we go. So look, I mean, it's a healthy sprue. He's he's definitely not he's definitely not shy on the size, right? Or is he? Okay, so it looks like he's in bits. He's he essentially just looks like he's a 
he's kind of like a mini aggressor, which is kind of like what he is, I suppose. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'll just I'll just get all this into shot for you, all right? So you can see that. Okay, and just zoom in a little bit here, because we'll, we'll go through like each each sprue at a time, I think. So let's just let's just get all that over here. Okay, so these are the these are the bases. All right, so it looks like um, uh, Marnius is on his own size base. That's an interesting base there for that one. Interesting size, all right? So uh, and then, then you got transfer sheet, right? So Ultramarines transfer sheet. Probably pretty stock standard as to what it usually is. Like not a not a big deal there. Nothing crazy. I say that's for the honor guard and that's for the that's for the um, for Marnius himself. You know. So yeah, check out uh, some of my other videos uh, for rules on him, and uh, I'll cover the points in chapter approved. But there's already there's already a video on rules for the guy. Uh, we've covered it quite extensively. I've also put together a little bit of a, a tactical video and theory on on him as well. Which is uh, which is pretty pretty cool. All right, so if it's your thing, there you know you can you can check that out, and um, it's pretty pretty fantastic. Okay, so I'm uh, just trying to get you as, as much as uh, much view as we can here. All right, there you go. So that's the first screw, right? And um, you can see here you've got the ammo belt, you've got the You've got that's him, so that's that must be his actual size. That's so pretty decent. And then you've got like all these different parts. You know, you've got the you know his his body, his legs, his greaves, all that kind of stuff. You've got like these tassels here. You know where he's in there and that. And so, and then here we go. So these look like more of the honor guard sort of guys, right? So once again, rules rules are carried over in another video. Okay. So that's 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 definitely pretty cool there. Okay, you can see that it's got the um, yeah, you got your storm shields here. You've got your capes and everything. And uh, you know, I, I know a lot of people have been having a whinge about them being monopose and all that. Guys, I, I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm kind of glad that uh, I'm kind of glad that they're not too crazy to put together. When you know, I, I get conversions and stuff, and I get people who like to do conversions and. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm totally down to that, but, you know, it's kind of like, guys, when I, when I buy Warhammer, I, I don't want to put together a model kit, you know, I'm not, I don't want to put together like a, you know, a Tamiya, like, you know, 1000 piece battleship and, and all that kind of stuff. I, I literally just want to go and I want to, I, I want to get my models assembled as quick as I can, all right, with enough customization to be able to paint it and all that kind of stuff. Um, well, you know, to get in the areas, leave the arm off if I need to, and then get them on the field, you know, like, that's just me though, and, um, like, if you want to do conversions, I mean, you just, you know, you can easily, if you know what you're doing, you can just cut that apart, you know, you got to be a little bit more careful, yes, all right, and there are other kits you can use, you know, like, you can use other kits, you know, get Promaris Marine legs or something like that, you know, it's be pretty easy to, like, cut these guys, you know, torsos off, and then, do like Primaris Marine legs and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, so that's the back of it. Okay, so it's pretty cool. All right, just go to this sprue here. All right, it's pretty cool. Again, just flip that over for you, so you can see what's going on. Here you have his his, his air intakes for his power pack or whatever. Um, you know, it would have been cool if this guy had a jet pack. I reckon that would have been awesome. Like, I'll be straight up. I mean, because you can't deep strike him. This is the problem, right? It's it's his mobility, his delivery. Um, you know, yeah, you could chuck him in a, you could chuck him in a, a, a repulsor, but like, I'm sorry, I'm still not a hundred percent sold on the uh, repulsor, you know, like even with the points drop, it's kind of like, yeah, but nah, I don't know. Cause the thing is like, I mean, I don't want my intercessors, you know, up the front. I want them up the back. Uh, I suppose I could probably put ingressors. Actually, you know what? I think this is how to run this guy. I reckon you run him. You run him with aggressors. You just stick a whole bunch of aggressors in there with him, and um, and then and you you whack them in the in the repulsor. You know, with 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 Marnius, and then the honor guard, and then you pop out, and then I think I think that's the way to way to run this, and um, I think that might be the go. I know in my other video I said terminators. 
I mean, Terminator is still a viable option. I mean, they're, they're very viable now with a points drop. You're essentially getting a Terminator, two wound, three up save, uh, invulnerable save, two up normal save model. So it's like 15 point, two up normal save, three up invul for 15 points essentially now, um, providing you don't take Thunder Hammers, maybe, you know, take something else. Right, but um, you because you can take them with like storm shields and power mauls and that you can you can get them down in price, you know. So um, so yeah. Anyway, but um, that's it. Okay, we'll see everybody. That's 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 Minaris, okay, and uh, and he's really cool. It's a cool sprue. Uh, I'm gonna have a bit of fun putting that one together. I tell ya. Um, but I don't know. I'm just really hankering to put together some uh, imperial fists. And uh, now we're gonna do the um. Now we're going to do this. Now we're going to do this guy, which is the um, Harkon, the World Claimer. All right, so the Herald of the Apocalypse. So I'm going to go through. I'm just going to just open this one up. All right, again, just butchered the box like completely there. Okay, just get this open. Again, just butchered the box. There. A lot smaller kit this time. All right, same size base as the as the Honor Guard. Again, his rules are covered in another video. All right, so I'm not going to go through that. I just don't want to mix these up. So I like to keep it all. There he is. Okay, so you got your you got your rule book, right? With your rules in it. I'll flick I'll flick the rules up here anyway for you. Um, there's the English version. So if anyone wants to just gloss over the rules, I don't know if it, it does have the points value here. It's 115. All right, so they're decent enough to do that. And I'll just quickly just flick over the um. The, uh, the rules for Marnius as well. Foyer, okay, if, if you want them. Okay, so if anyone wants the rules, okay, there you go. There are the rules, okay, for him. And then his Honor Guard, his Vitrix Honor Guard is basically here like that, okay? So yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. All right, so wonderful. All right, and, um, and then there's a sprue, just one sprue. Just one sprue, very, very cool sprue, but nonetheless, just one sprue. And um, yeah, you can see here, you got very nice base there, you know, with the smashed marine apart. Uh, he's got his nice little spear, he's got his talon, uh, you know, his body there. It's a really fun kit to put together. Again, uh, I'm not too big on the skulls, but uh, you know, I guess it is part of the, you know, the chaos theme. Um, but you know, uh, you can always leave them off. You know, there's nothing saying that the skulls are mandatory. It's not in the rules to have them on there. Um, and the back of it, okay? So there you go. Um, absolutely fantastic there. Very nice models. Very highly detailed on the sprue as well. Uh, I would just be careful. This this uh, this spear, though, is really, really, really um, asking for a snap. Uh, I would be very, very careful. Get your super glue ready. Um, be careful when you're painting it too. Watch out if you're going to, you know, draw, do any dry brushing over that spear or whatever. Um, and the reason is, is just because like it's, it's a, it's a recipe for a, a snap in half that spear. I know from my custodes, um, you know, those guardian spears, it's like, you know, you drop one off the table, especially cause I've got a lot of weight on my custodes. A lot of the base is chopped with stuff and I, I like to put magnets on the bottom of the, uh, the counters so that um, they weigh better on the table, you know? The problem is though, if you, if you drop it, then um, you know, it really drops and if it lands the wrong way on the sphere, which it usually does, <laughs> it's like, uh, and uh, maybe it's like physics there, and uh, you know, the spear just snaps off. And I mean, look, you can put them together pretty easily back again, but um, once again, you know, it's just kind of like, uh, you know, the more you put it together, the weaker it's going to get. And, you know, you don't really want to go through and, and, and be, you know, repairing that thing all the time. And, you know, I mean, it's a pain in the bum repairing models. I don't even get the time to make new models, you know? So anyway, all right, fantastic. Okay, everybody, look, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel. Click the little red uh, subscribe button down below and also the little bell notification. And I uh, hope you've all had a enjoy, uh, hope you've all enjoyed this video. It's been a pleasure making it once again. And uh, sorry about the clinical delivery of it. You know, I sound like a medical doctor. Yes, greetings, what can I do for you today? Um, yes, okay, please take five vitamin C and uh, call me in the morning. Uh, it's just because, guys, I've got to literally smash videos and like, yeah. Um, but anyway, everybody, thank you so much for watching. 
and uh, I'll see you in the next video. It's going to be fantastic. All right. Bye-bye.